Let's now go to our library that we were using before. And here in the library, I would like to do a couple of additional things. One of them is, let's go to this scene. I will delete these elements from here to the camera view. I have my character. This character is made as a puppet. You can see here all the, all the pieces that is making the character. And actually, if I select the arm, I can rotate the arm and start doing animation by manipul manipulating every piece like this. Or I can go here to the leg and then select the foot. And by position and doing the keyframe, the system will do the animation. That we call it puppet animation or cutout animation. Now, using that concept, I will come here, I will select the hand, and I have something that's called drawing swapping. And actually, I can select another drawing and swap that drawing directly from the library. Now, with that, with that concept, Basically, I can select now the mouth of the character, and I can switch to a different mouth for my character. Now, if I use the same concept, that concept of drawing swapping, cell swapping, basically, I can now bring a soundtrack. And with this soundtrack, I can play back the soundtrack. We need to get way higher. We need to ask the system to do a lip synchronization detection. And now you can see here how the system automatically assigned the proper mouth shapes. This can be changed and can be adjusted. It's just to have a reference for the animator to be able to work much faster. I come to the system, to the timeline, and I, I tell the system that I want to use the library of the character, of their mouths. And now if I play back. We need to get way higher. It automatically assigned, and now after that, I can just go and do final adjustments directly there. It's really, really fast to do that type of modifications. Now, with that concept, we have animation, we have, we move the elements, we, we do cell swapping. Let's start doing a scene here. I will, I will go to my system. I will create, I will expand my scene to have additional frames. Let's select all of this from here, delete, and let's bring a couple of elements. I will bring this elephant, this elephant as well is made by, by multiple pieces, like this, we can manipulate the pieces, and it has an animation. Now, I will bring my character that is a master character. And this master character doesn't have any animation yet. One of the concepts first is that I will bring a motion path to it, and I will connect the character to this motion path. Now, the character, I can see the motion path. And now the character will follow the motion path. Now that it's following the motion path, I will go to my library, and I have in my library different action templates. These action templates are just stored the animation. They're not to store the drawings. It's just the movements. Like in this case, the going down, the, the turning. Let's select that one, for example, and let's bring the action template directly here. And now we see how it applies. Select the second part. <coughs> Select the third one. And now we play back everything here. We have our animation by reusing all the pieces and by reusing action, action templates directly inside the sequence. 